Good morning, good morning, good morning. Are we up? Good morning. Hey, John. Hey, I'm normal. Lego, happy. Good to see you guys. <laughs> you guys are so quiet. I can't hear you at all. We're quiet, you mean? No, no, no. I mean, I'm joking about oh, I guess, I guess. the stream people. <laughs> okay, I, can't, okay, okay. I can't hear them. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so how's our mic? At the moment, we've got a microphone, a lapel mic, stuck in between the two of us. Yeah, it's kind of going up into the red a little bit. Maybe I should put Ooh, the level the feedback down. or whatever. Oh, J John says audio is good. All right. Great. Great. The, the print we're talking about, just so you know, is is this one. Oh, that one, yes. And, and, and for your, and this is a September print, so if, if, and for you you guys, the mods, they get mailed on the 21st. Yeah. And he's just taking it, the, the, the thinness of the lines and the fingers it's, and everything else, and it's just gone. It's just crazy. Crazy, it's crazy, crazy, it's crazy. Too much crazy, too much crazy. Haha, <laughs> fly. Yeah, that's my keg. <laughs> if, if only. I'm being accused. Yeah, Karen, Karen and I killed that last night. We left it yeah, outside. We left yeah, left it outside. <laughs> like, right. So. Like garbage by the, by like the hundred street. year supply for me. <laughs> We've got Contari with his radar, raiders. Oh, yeah. How many? Yeah. Up to five? Up 10, to 15, five. 15, 20? Up to five. Yeah. Killing it. Killing it. Mike is a bit hot and has some static. Oh, it's not peaking here right now. You know Maybe where to control it. As far as static goes, we're not touching anything. Oh, yeah, not touching anything. Unless oh, it's I'm gonna let me take the. Uh, that's enough outside. Let's take it. Ah, soka, soka. <laughs> you forgot. That all, right, all, right, forgot all, right, all right. Forgot to decrease that. Tom says, I sound like I'm 20 years old. Well, you're up by <laughs> decades, I think. <laughs> Let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> uh, good morning. <laughs> good morning, guys. Hey, Kantar. Oh, you know, it's just a great morning here in Asakusa. It is beautiful, it's beautiful isn't it? Yeah, so, it's beautiful, yeah. So, oh my God, it's, cool it's beautiful. And, It'll get a bit hot later in the day, I think. But uh, at the moment, it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, yeah, you're going to have to, if, if you know, uh, in the frame, out of the frame, I can't see what's going on. I don't want to think. We're you're, in the right place, You're in the frame. I? You're pretty good in the frame. Yeah, okay. Yep. Let me know. And then you might want to scoot a little bit closer towards your finger, like in the direction yeah, yeah, of your yeah, finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it as in up this way. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Okay. Let me know, man, because yeah. I can't see it anymore, so. Okay, over to you. I will just quietly get busy. All right. By the way, I, I did guess we should have talked about, we haven't arranged your fee yet for this. Oh my God, oh, I'm going to negotiate yes. this now. I mean, my image <laughs> consultant alone cost me hundreds and hundreds of yen. Masks and they make up and hair and all that stuff. And oh my God. Okay. Who, me, Tom? You imagine I'd have a ponytail? I did it one time. It's too short now. Yeah, the, the Japan tour is, is great. Um, it's been a little rainy, but we're going to have a few days of really good, uh, good weather. Mm. John, I'll go for supplies after this. I think I'm just going to get some uh, brushes. Yeah, I guess I should introduce myself. Oh yeah, yeah, of uh, course, of course. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I should I'm have Karen. Karen I'm Karen Pittman, aka Vivid KP. Normally, I'm a mod on this stream. A green sword lady. Yep, and uh, I will. I'm here in Japan because I'm studying, um, of course I have a Baron. I've got several, two of them are half decent. Um, I'm studying printmaking with Terry McKenna in Karisawa. Um, so that was my excuse to come to Japan. Well, actually, Karen says she's studying with Terry, but actually she's a, a, a good printmaker in her own right. Part of the reason she's at Terry's place is that was the only way to get into Japan. She needed yeah. the visa sponsorship <laughs> thing. So don't don't let Karen Short change you here. She's actually a good printmaker in her own right. She's not a beginner here studying to see how to, you know, make things work. 
You brought some prints today, right? You've I did. You've got some stuff. Well, sometime, some right now or sometimes you're in the stream or whatever, please. So I can put them here or you can hold them up there, whatever you want to do. Well, part way along. I'll let you get, okay. get going get with your bit. carving. Okay. 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 Yeah. Also, yeah. Suga-san will be coming. When you see her in the, in the outside camera, you'll see her walk towards the door. Uh -huh. Let's grab her and bring okay. her in for a second before she goes upstairs. Okay. I'll keep an eye on that. Probably hear her walk up. Am I going to sit with the printers? Um, I may not have time this time, so I'm just in Tokyo for um, for today, basically. Going to do some shopping. Um, I've heard about a fabulous uh, exhibit that uh, demonstrates the beginnings of Shinhanga uh, in Chiba, and so I'm going to look into that and see uh, see if I maybe can go out there and, and see the exhibit. Um, then I'm heading back to Karuzawa tomorrow. How long were you in Japan for? Uh, for about three weeks total. We know. Are you going uh, other places like down to Kansai or Osaka or something? Or not oh, probably not. Table? Probably not. I'm probably just going to hang out. So you're going to make some prints. This is I'm going to hang out and make wow, some prints. Wow, wow, I'm wow. like all of my time is spent either designing mm. or carving or you know ultimately I hope printing. Ah, uh, so. You this is something we talked about this a bit last I know. night. You know. <laughs> People who carve and carve and carve and carve. It makes no sense because you can carve at home. The printing is the thing to do here, you know, when you've got other people around to, to see and, and play with the paper and you want to send paper and stuff, you know. Yeah. Carving you can do anywhere. You can do that in Texas. You know? <laughs> yeah, um, I've heard that, that, that this exhibition in Chiba is, is really excellent. Oh, thank you, Necromancy Black. Thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll flash that one up right now. This is the, the desert cloud. Once Dave gets going a little bit better in his uh, carving, maybe we'll put it on the table. I'm going to be taking back a stack of Iwano paper. Mmm, wouldn't that be nice? I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen. Tell you what, on one condition, you size it yourself here. Oh my God! Why don't you? Why would you I could not do think that. Why not? I could do that, and I could pick it up tomorrow morning before I leave. Oh, I mean, if you did it today, maybe. if I did it today, or I could do it on the think last we'll weekend. Glue, whatever. Yeah, I could. We could plan for that the last weekend before I take the flight home. You, you, you make your booking, whatever. Let's make sure we, we talk to Ayo, Aoyama-san, because I yeah, don't know yeah, what schedule yeah. he may be sizing okay. today or not sizing today. I don't know. Okay. So let's bring him oh. into the mix. Oh, this is really exciting. But also sizing, <laughs> would you do it my way or Aoyama-san's way? This is all wide open, you know. What are you going to be doing back in Texas, you know? Probably trying to do it your way. I don't know. I really don't <laughs> know. Because I'm, I I'm that kind of perfectionist, you know. I'm yeah. that sort of... And I guess people don't know what we're talking about right now. I could touch on it a little bit. I did the sizing here at Mokohankan for, well, f forever up until this year when I quickly had to go back to Canada for a, a medical situation my, with my mother. And while I was away, Aoyama-san stepped forward and took over all the sizing. He and the printers chose to experiment with different ways of doing it in short story. Uh -huh. And he's now, in the last half year, he's been doing all the sizing in a dramatically different way from what everybody here on the stream has seen me do over the past few years. He no longer tries to size in one shot, one pass with one brush. He uses smaller brushes, repeatedly dips them into the sizing, and repeatedly brushes across the paper in different areas. And it's working. So, 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 so we're a little bit up in the air with sizing. What I was doing was working. It was what I had seen a professional sizing craftsman do years ago. But it seems that the pro process of sizing can be done in a more relaxed, easygoing fashion, and it still actually works. It still works. <coughs> turn down the outside mic a bit. Okay, I'll turn it down just a tad. Yeah, John, let us know if that's uh, enough or more more needed. Hey, Snowy Evergreens. Good morning. Oh, I haven't seen her for a while, actually. I haven't noticed. Does paper come with sizing in Japan? Uh, it can. You can you can buy sized uh, washi from places like Woodlike Matsumoto, 
or um, Kitaro. Um, or Ozuwashi. That or Ozuwashi, that's right, right. Uh, and you, there are, and Awagami makes paper that's, that's sized, and you can get some of that in the States, possibly also in Europe. To interject, though, for us, when we're buying from someone like Iwano-san, they have nothing to do with sizing whatsoever. So buying from a manufacturer like Iwano, who is a paper specialist, it's not an option. You can't say, yeah. please size it and send it over. They would just say, sorry, not our job. So Tom is asking, do the printers no notice the different sizing? Well, it's a long story. We, Karen and I were chatting about it a bit last night. After I did leave, Aoyama-san stepped up to the plate, tried to do it my way first, really struggled. It didn't work. He just didn't have the, the experience and skill to do it in one pass. Mm -hmm. So he gave up and tried to do it with multiple passes. It also didn't work because what was happening was that he was using my formulation of glue, but with multiple passes it put lots more liquid onto the paper, so it was turning out there was too much glue. He got immediate feedback on this from the printers. They experimented back and forth. He dropped the amount of glue in the mixture, and within a couple of weeks, they had got themselves sorted out and found a good balance that the printers were happy with. So he couldn't use my mix and my formula that I had left for him, but they did work something else. Yeah, I, I guess maybe some more folks have shown up, so I'll introduce myself again. I'm, I'm Vivid KP. I'm normally... Uh, here on the chat with the green sword, um, but I am visiting Tokyo, visiting Mokohankan this morning. She got in before the big opening, the grand opening October 11th, but yeah, Karen sneaked in, in before that. In. So, <laughs> on a business, or what, what's your visa? I don't I didn't even know. I think it's a business visa, business mm. or study. Mm. Tom is asking, is the paper out today? Yes, two packs are out, and one has to go back in. In fact, you can remind me about that. Okay. I brought a paper for Ayumi-san, who is doing the Bonodori print, and then Suga-san, who is doing a test printing of the something scent, secret, something the scent of chrysanthemums. She's testing it. You're oh going to see my it upstairs goodness. today. I didn't really want to talk about it too much because she asked me, don't make a big deal about this because she's not confident that she's going to be able to pull it off. I am confident she can do it, but she doesn't isn't and she doesn't want me to make too much pressure on her start taking orders and stuff like this yeah but she's at the moment doing a test batch of like a dozen sheets and if that looks good she's going to wrap up 100 sheets of paper cool. Cool. and it will be back in print so. excellent so it's not secret excellent. but it's you know, let's not get too excited and start the parade just john i think it's the big version it's the big one the real one yeah the, the real, real one. one yeah well she's yeah. she's she can ace the little one that's nothing so it's the big one but having said that, I brought the paper out for those two this morning before I headed to the pool, but when I got back from the pool, I saw an email from Ayumi-san. Again, one of her kids has a fever, and the daycare centers are extremely strict. If you're over 36 point, whatever, whatever the number is, if you're point one up, that's it. The kid can't come okay. to daycare. So Ayumi-san can't work today, oh, so the people have to wait a day longer for their bonodori prints. Yeah, so. that's weird. You know, people vary in their in their body temperature, so... Oh, yeah, it's that so if it's... Above normal. I mean, they've got this chart. Oh, they have a chart. They, they it's like every normal, day. Normal, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Okay, exactly, okay. exactly, exactly, exactly. Who printed the September prints? All of them. There, we did three batches. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred. And our day chan printed. The first batch that went out on September first were printed by day chan. The batch that went out on uh, September eleventh were printed by Ishikawa san and the 21st of the month batch were printed by Suga-san this time around. Every month it's not always that case. The August prints were all printed in one batch by Kubota-san. And Kori would have gotten the third batch, right? You three guys, you mods, are booked in on the 21st group. Yeah, and so I that's put that through. So they, they send it. But that means you could have got, you could have got either one, whatever. Uh -huh. That left a quote left over. There were still some, you know, we're not sold out to 300. So the, the 100 goes in, the second 100 goes in. So you may have got one left over from Ishikawa-san's group, or you could have got the early ones from Suga-san's group. I have no way of knowing. Yeah. And even yeah. looking at them now, nobody on this planet can tell the difference. Yeah, so, so. somebody is saying, have you ever considered streaming on YouTube because it saves all your VODs? Well, I think you're having VODs saved on Twitch now for a month. Right? Privately, yes. Yeah, Twitch saves them for a month, and then, as you know, some of them are going up mm -hmm. onto YouTube on a private channel. It's, I don't want to mix the two things. I know. For me, YouTube is curated, carefully produced, videos that will last forever. Twitch is casual. Turn it on and do it in chat and turn it off when we're done. So for me, the two 
venues have a completely different look and feel and meaning. And I don't want to confuse our YouTube channel with this casual stuff. I want our YouTube channel to be, get your coffee ready, sit down, set aside 30 minutes, and watch this. Uh, speaking of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get mine after we're done. I've learned if I get it before it just sits here and goes cold. So. Yeah, I, I had to wait until Starbucks opened, and I hate to even, that's a, a product placement I really wish I hadn't just done, but you can't get a big cup of coffee anywhere else around here. At that time of that the I morning. That I found, yeah, early. Uh -huh. they this this at place seven. opens at 7, the place across the street. Oh, here. okay. The, the one that's inside the... Inside the hotel? Not, it's, 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 it's in the hotel building, but it's open to our time. Yeah, 7 o'clock. Okay. But they don't do lattes and macchiatos and all that stuff. It's I just do drip coffee, but I, and I like bingo, to put milk it. in. Then that's it. For me, it's too strong. It, I, it's, honestly, if I, if I drink that, it's just stomach pain. It's so, so strong. It sounds like my kind of coffee. <laughs> That's it. They open, at, they open at 7, so there you are, just so you know. What's the Japanese word for venti? I don't know. I got a grande. In Starbucks, it it, it's told grande. <laughs> grande. Probably venti. John, venti, I, I think. <laughs> hey, morning, Taran. Oh, Taran-san's here. Hey, yeah. guy. Good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning, Taran? Karen's on your chair. <laughs> benchi. Right, right. Yeah, the contract's right. Not benti. Benchi. Benchi. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Taran's not supposed to be in school. What's he doing here Monday morning? I don't know. Taran says, haha, it's mine now, is it? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> this stool. This stool. Well, yours whenever you want to use it, guy. Of course, you know. Come in any time. <laughs> worked an even yesterday, so today off. Huh? Tadan says he worked an even yesterday, so I don't know what that means. An even worked an even event. Mm -hmm. Event yesterday. Oh, so they would have had sports off. day. Okay, I get it. It would have been sports oh, day. Right. Yeah, yeah. Was that the holiday? On the holiday was Friday. No, the holiday was... Uh, no. no, it was Respect for the Aged. No, that it? was the one the week before oh, Monday. Okay. Friday's so it was holiday Sports was, Day. It, no, that's it's not. That's October. Sports Day used to be October oh, the 10th. But they've okay. moved these things around. They've moved... Most uh, school stuff have moved their sports days Bunkasai. to spring. Bunkasai. Soka, soka. Bunkasai. Culture holiday. So the school would have had it. The kids would have all prepared panels and stories and different stuff for it to this. Soka, soka. So turn on a good day of carving today then coming up. I hope. Stream some of it. Yeah, stream it. I'll watch. <clears throat> oh, Claudine is asking, where does the, the word venti even, even come from? It means 20 in Italian. Maybe it's 20 ounces? 24 ounces. Well, is it a size? Uh, it's it's the biggest the size big you size. can get oh, so, at so Starbucks. I wouldn't. Um, okay. Yeah. So Talan says he's going to start with color separations today. Start with color separations. He was over here last week. We did color some separations. I mean, he's going to start actually I mean, cutting them. Carving them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, General Zimmer. When Taran San was here last week, and we were looking at the color separations together with Rachel, you know, some of it sort of it looks sort of easy. Okay, that area is that color, but when you actually try and define right to the edge of it, it really, really, really gets difficult. You know? Yeah. When you look at the old Yoshida color separations, we don't have them for that print, but we've got some sample separations for a few other prints, and they are gloriously complex. Gloriously complex. So we have a compliment here and a, and a command from Corinne. So compliment is from Humar360. Been following you for a while, but only just recently going through the YouTube videos. Oh, really you enjoy the work and all you do, David. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, <coughs> sir, in a general sense. Sir, thank you, sir. sir thank you, person, whatever. <laughs> thank you, human. Fellow, fellow <laughs> human being. <laughs> well, we, we need some more vocabulary right. here these days. Yeah. So Corinne, sure, I'll do that. And another thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to visit Hokusai's grave. <laughs> do you know where it is? You know the map? So it's right yeah, it's, it's, it's behind it's the on brush the place. Yeah, it's right by the brush place. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. so, so, so. Don't forget to bring him a daifuku. Take him. What's a daifuku? I don't know. It's 
they have a, any any any. Is it a little muffin or something? It's it's white. It's made from rice. It's uh-huh. a little a little mound of rice, a dome shape. That meant for it's an offering. Puffy. Or no, or no, no, it's just a snack. It's, it's just, a just a snack. Just a snack. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Happy is asking, are you going to do the fine hairlines on the surfer girl? Am I going to do the fine hairlines? Well, well that's, that's the work here next few minutes. I think I'm getting to that right now. There's a few fine hairlines here. but there's Is there no another block also with more fine hairlines? No, actually, this is the key block, and these okay. hairlines are going to be on the key block, and the overtop black block will come and almost touch that. So th- these are the hairs that I, I might do it now. I don't know. I didn't think about it. But there isn't, there's no glorious r- row of... Uh, Oh, if you mean, but if you mean fine hairlines, you mean the, the stuff that's looping around all over the place. That's on a different block. So I'm not sure what you mean the terminology here. Here's your picture. If you're talking about this stuff, Put that's going to be on a different so block. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. If you're talking about these lines, the, the, the floating hair everywhere, what you see here is an undertone for the hair. This right, will be on the gray right. block, and it doesn't have all the, the smaller ones. It's an undertone for everywhere that there's... Here. You can see the gray in here is the block you're looking at now. Oh, and there will okay. be a separate black block over the top of this. But the, I don't know, is it visible? There are a few sort of hairs poking out at the edge of her head. Those will be on this block. Yeah, actually, if you could zoom a little bit, um, people would be able to see that. I don't know. Well, I, I can't think see what oh. we're Stop. Still in focus? A little fuzzy. So there is there is hairs fuzzy. poking out, and those there they will be on the same block as the one I'm carving now, with the eyebrow and her eye. There will be some little hairs. Chut, 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 chut. That's right here. Yeah, the streamers can see it. Okay, but the other the hair, the floating fuzzy. black hair that floats all over the picture, will not be on this block. It's a separate black block. Yeah. You see now, just a tiny tad will probably have a better focus. Just a bit. Oh, yeah, that's good. Good morning, streamers, chatters. Uh, I'm, I'm Vivid KP. Mm. I'm mm. normally a mod on this stream. So. Guest, guest mod, a guest uh, host today, guest host, host yeah. mod. Yeah. And, you know, as, as uh, Corey and others have surmised, I'm getting paid the big bucks for this. I've been paying you, I think, the same rate that I got for that big NDA project and I'm still not supposed to talk about it. By a major, <laughs> a major global corporation hired me to do a, an audio thing for them. Uh-huh. This was uh-huh. part of the NDA a couple uh-huh. months ago. Uh-huh. And uh, okay, I can promise you the, the same fee that this major, major really? global corporation paid me for a two-hour podcast. Really? Mm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Which I'm, it, the NDA will expire when the product is on the market, and that's expected to be in January. Interesting, interesting. A major global name that everybody knows. So, um, Corin is suggesting that we should have a text on the bottom of the webcam insert with the nickname of the guest. Can I type that in here? Okay, what, it's a, what the easiest thing might to do might be to, we, if we just change the text of the top one. If you click on intro here, Mm-hmm. Double click it, it pops up the text, which you can change now to anything you want and save. Oh, and I. Yeah. Oh, I can, do you want to try well, I'll just say, do I need it? to make it smaller or can I just add with. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. Just watch and see what happens. There must be a save button or a close button or something. Did it? Oh, I must not have saved it. I think I'm Can I do you type it in here, you type it in here, type it in here, and there's a close button. Yeah, let me see if I can do that. Yeah, it ran off the screen, so now it's there. And you can move it around, you can change the color of it, whatever, just, uh, just double click on it. How's that, Corin? I didn't think of that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I changed the title, so you should be seeing. Um, Tom points out that I misspelled my own. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Thank help you. you there, ma'am. It's up to you. 
that keg, you know, I sh we I shouldn't know. have done that, Karen, you know, I'm sorry, you know, that oh, whole keg, yeah. my God. <laughs> I didn't know you had it in you. Case of the Mondays. No, I think what I have is a case of the foggy glasses. That's what I blame. Ah, uh, so good. Yeah. Yeah, question about print parties. Sadly, no. But thankfully for Dave and Moko Hong Kong, no. <laughs> print parties are history. I'm sorry. They are gone. In, in the foreseeable future. Uh, we have no staff to be able to do this. It was destroying our business. It was wonderful, glorious. Everybody loved them. We had a ton of fun. They were exhausting for all of us. Staff were quitting in the spring of the beginning of the pandemic. We were booked solid four or five parties a day and we were facing absolute disaster. The pandemic, in a sense, actually saved me at that time because we were, we were going over the edge from the print party. So. so I'm sorry, there are no parties. When the shop opens again next month, there won't be print parties as part of it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I swam over from Texas. It was really, it took a really long time to get around that, uh, you know, tip of South America. <laughs> you gotta be careful what you say, you know, because people start believing things. <laughs> I, I heard it on the internet, you know, so be careful yeah, now. Yeah, anything you hear on the internet is is fact. It's fact. <laughs> and you're one of those Merkins, you know. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the canal. That would have made things really fast, wouldn't it? <laughs> the canal? What are you talking about? From from the West? Panama. Panama Canal. Like from oh, the Gulf you're of in Mexico. The Gulf. I'm in the Gulf of okay, Mexico. Okay. okay. So. <laughs> When you could have walked across to California, you know, and started there. <laughs> yes, yes, Andy. If you swim, you still have to go through customs and immigration and quarantine too. So, and, and that is true. It was interesting when I came, um, when I arrived in Tokyo at Narita. It was uh, hmm. very empty. <clears throat> I don't know if it was just a slow time of the day. It was, it was a Wednesday afternoon. And the number of people that were working the quarantine uh, and immigration were, they vastly outnumbered the number of people that were arriving. So, I don't know, my theory is that they're practicing, trying to staff up, yeah. make sure that they have the staff necessary for when the gates do open more widely. They're doing the same thing, trying to train a bunch of people, get ready for next month yeah. or something. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, the flight, it was empty. It was really weird. It was about a quarter full. Was it super expensive, or was it like normal prices? Uh, it was more expensive than before. Because the gas surcharge they're dumping on top of this. Yeah. Thing. The fuel surcharge, like yeah. four hundred dollars or something. I don't know like what they. Uh, I didn't see a breakdown. But, yeah. um, I think I'll fly back. <laughs> Jokes about me um, swimming back with customers' orders in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> yeah, this is a little diamond block that um, Dave is sharpening with. Block stone. Block what? No, diamond, diamond stone, diamond sharpener. That's a 400 grit uh, on this side. And uh, I didn't see you. Did you One break count. it? Did you, or do you need it's, to change the shape? It's actually, I, I, yeah, the tip has gone a bit too far. Yeah. yeah. Kind of give you eyes next. Yeah. So just getting it sharp for carving these fine face lines. <laughs> um, the Nagura. Um, it would be normally used on a natural stone. Yes, here's, here's what it looks like. But Dave likes to use a little slurry on his diamond stones. Some people say, you should just do it dry. But uh, personally, I do it dry. Yeah, 
and get ready for those fine hair, fine face lines. <clears throat> this new method, using these thin plates and then rubbing your hand on the desktop. Look at this, you can just see it, I've got like a three-point stance. It just keeps that angle so much flatter. Yeah, people are asking what material this thing is made of, this little um, diamond plate. I bet it's anodized steel with diamonds on it. I don't have Somebody any was saying, information? the other day they were saying, is that brass? I'm like, no, no it looks like there's brass. no sure way it could be brass. Normal. That's, wait, upside down. So that's the, that's the fine side. This is the, uh, the, uh, the coarser side that you'd use for putting a tip back on or changing the shape of the blade. And uh, here is its bigger yeah, cousin. <laughs> but, oh, here's, I set it down. There it is. Yeah, brass is way too soft to sharpen anything. It would, it would, no, no. Yeah, it would just like, all those little diamonds would go, get squished into the brass. Yeah, they're two different sides. Here's the, here's the knife after its sharpening session. Uh, probably. Oh, in the course that I, the studying that I'm doing, yeah, um, Terry w uh, encouraged uh, encouraged me to start a new project, so I started a new project. And I'm currently carving it, and uh, after that I will, I will print it. And I hope I'm going to finish in the time that I have here. some fine hairlines now. Yeah, I, I hope I hope the new project turns out okay. I'm uh, I'm trying things in ways differently than I normally do. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Try try new things, learn new things. Fail. Stand up. Yeah. What is the slurry Dave used on the diamond stone? That was Nagura. Um, that was um, a slurry made from, from this little piece of material. It decays rapidly as you rub it across it's, anything. It's, it's so a soft, soft rock, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a soft rock and it breaks down into little particles and, and helps. Um, helps the stone cut. Will it be a print of a, a Nagara stone? Oh, my print? No. No. Landscape. So, okay. <laughs> More landscapes? It is a landscape. How did you guess? <laughs> uh, clouds. Clouds. It, 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 this one doesn't have any clouds in it yet. I might add some. Uh, but I've been, I've been taking pictures of on, on the trails that I hike on back home. Um, our landscape is made of lime, limestone ledges and stuff and so on the trails there'll be these little areas where there's like a bunch of rocks kind of stepping up and I've been taking photographs of, of the rocks on the trail and then using those shapes to create a much larger landscape. So I've got rocks that used to be a tiny little trail 
few ledges on a trail and it, I've turned it into a really grand landscape with a deep blue pool on a mountainside and the ocean in the distance. So change the so scale you mean? Change the scale, yeah. It is a beautiful day. It's uh, it's really gorgeous and sunny. Yes, I can't remember the last time we had a day like this. And it's uh, the temperature is really nice so far. Mm. Maybe hot mm. later. No, I'm not family. Um, I'm a I'm a friend of Dave's and normally a mod on this channel. I'm just visiting Tokyo, so I thought I'd come have a guest appearance on the stream. Did they ask are you my daughter? If I was family. Oh, I see. I see. Someone doesn't want to say, is this your wife? Is this your daughter? Is this your wife? I got all those questions so, about, are you Dave's wife? <coughs> Last time I was here no, three so, years so, ago. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> that really bugs the girls. And when we have the print parties, you know, it would be a common print party. I'm with working with one of the girls or something. Right. We get to coffee time and somebody asks a girl, are you, are you Dave's wife? You know, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and they're all, huh. oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess there are a lot of family businesses and small businesses in Japan are often run by by families and husband and wife teams and so forth. So, like in the U.S., they would never assume that. I think a business of this scale, I don't know. Yeah. No idea. Well, they don't know. Just coming in the shop, they don't know the scale of the business. Mm -hmm. They don't know that there's mm -hmm. this giant publishing arm in Moka mm -hmm. Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and you know, two stories of of, uh, you know, workshop above and... Two? Above, above this. Okay, above okay, this. okay, okay, okay. Above this. <laughs> all right, all more right, than right, this. Right. <laughs> two stories more. <laughs> Don't cut me down, ma'am. <laughs> so. Aw, oh, thank you, Tom. You are sweet. Is it okay to take blocks through customs? As far as I know... I've never had a problem either way. No. Taking them over to Canada for demonstration. Yeah, last time I came about. back, last, last time I visited, I brought some blocks from home that I wanted to clean this is up and reprint. Very much country specific. And I've been told, warned, Australia, you cannot get wood into that country because they're paranoid about various Parasites beetles and, and bugs stuff, yeah. and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So this is very much country specific. And <laughs> John, when, I, when I've sat in on the stream, no one ever asks us. I'm asking my family. <laughs> <laughs> my long lost twin brother. Yeah, right. So, so. And he said, I don't think anybody <coughs> asked that of me either. <laughs> it's John Becker. Hair not fluffy enough? <laughs> don't make me laugh when I'm cutting hair. Yeah, he's <laughs> so, cutting hair, you guys. So I guess I could just sit there and keep that that back for yeah. enjoyment later. Uh, yeah, Australian wood quarantine is very strict. New Zealand is the same. It's impossible to bring any natural materials through. So how does that work, guys, if, if you guys need to import materials like that? Are they allowed through with the right Inspection Fum fumigation and, or and fumigation and <coughs> when I lived in Canada, we tried to bring tatami mats in. Uh, we didn't actually get around to doing it ourselves. But a friend of ours, whose wife wanted to teach tea ceremony, his Japanese wife, they were living in Vancouver. They did. They managed to get a, a crate of tatami mats in, and when they arrived in Canada, had to go into a sealed facility for fumigation. Uh -huh. And they they put some kind of gas, whatever, the idea being to kill, kill all these, all the, the terrible, bugs. yeah, kill yeah, all these bugs. all the mites. And that was, uh, well, four decades ago in Canada. So there was, that process was in place and there were facilities ready to do that. So I don't know anywhere else or the current situation. Longstrand says, I once saw a child get their bean-filled teddy bear confiscated at the airport. The customs officers suggested they could sterilize it with gamma rays. Beans? The bean-filled oh, teddy, teddy bear. Uh, uh, what country was that, Longstrand? Oh, no, Australia. Australia. Yeah. And I get the point of this. These things are not just, you know, bureaucracy sure. trying to be yeah. ob ob obstructive. It's a real thing, you know, absolutely. So.
when you could read the story 50 years from now, you know, when, when the forests have been devastated by some beetle and it known to have arrived inside stuffed teddy bears from China back in the, you know, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So you can understand how it could go. Yeah, you know, so. yeah definitely. You tell that to the kid in the airport, you know. All you can do is make sure people know about these rules and regulations in advance. So they don't buy the bean-filled teddy bag, yeah, well, teddy bear. I can conceal my product placement here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually off that brand too, you know. I know I, you know, the thing I did with my weight last November, I was a bit embarrassed by the YouTube videos with this, this spare tire. So we've all seen that chart I did. And that's one of the things, because all through the first couple of years of the pandemic, it, I strolled over there every day and I got myself a nice tasty chai latte. And in winter, this was great a tall oh, chai latte yeah. for an hour, because it was there's no heater, you know. Uh -huh. So I, that became a comfort food for me at that same place you went to this morning. But, I mean, my God, it's a quarter sugar. I mean, how many spoonfuls of sugar are in any one of those things? You know, yeah. so. so cutting that out was one of, I think, the main reasons that led to my you know, s quite sharp weight loss. You know. Yeah, more activities also. also mm, the exercise, plus mm -hmm. no snacking before going to bed, plus cutting out that big chai latte every day. You know. Most three things, I think. That's what uh, dropped my weight seven kilograms, eight kilograms in a few months. So. That's a lot. Still a lot of discussion about customs and wildlife mm. protection. Dave is putting a touch of camellia oil on the block to make the lines more visible. Running commentary, this is great. I could just <laughs> <laughs> you, can just, you can just carve <laughs> somebody who knows I'll what's just, going on. I'll just pass actually. on so the jokes someone who to you so that you laugh. On, and you know, so. <laughs> and now, with his left hand, you can imagine the breathless commentary right. yes. <laughs> approaching and the finish he's line, approaching the corner of the lip. <laughs> <laughs> Please let's not go there. <laughs> You gotta get a, the right breathless voice, at the, like like a like a, a snooker tournament or something. The hall is all quiet and the announcers are all shh. It's yes, golf. <laughs> it's not the way they do it with golf. Yeah. <laughs> How do I do my color separations? Well, hmm. Show that's... some show some pictures while you're while you're okay, while you're Okay, let's see if I have any really good color separation examples here. If you want, Karen, what you could do, you know, you could switch things around. You can take your picture there and you can drag it larger. Oh, you know, like there's a lot of space there, but you know, just like you did with the outside. No, I, I think all of the prints I have here are pretty straightforward. Well, chat um, about chat Okay, about. here's one that's not super straightforward. And enlarge your window. Um, and we can have a double stream, two, two. Uh, Two uh, teaching moments for the price of one. Okay. I'll get the, make the outside a little smaller. And should I move mine over to the? No, you're you're. I've obscured you completely. I, I am the star of the show now. Well, I'm gone. You're gone. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I'm gone. So I, just I forget moving. how many blocks I used on this print. I think about eight. And so it's pretty simple, but you can see that um, there's the sky color, and then there's pretty far away from that, there's this blue of the water and another little blue area of water over here. Um, and so I think I put those on one block. And then there are... But how did you decide how what did the I shape decide? of the ears? I mean, you're drawing freehand at this point? Or is uh, this has this all been planned in advance of starting any carving? Or are you making this up as you go along? This one I kind of made up as I went along. I didn't plan this one out completely. I so did, you have no master copy of where you're going. That's my goal. I had a master copy of the lines. Okay. And then I think what I did on this one, I think I... Um, 
printed out a bunch of sheets of mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and, and used colored pencil to try drawing to, on those sheets drawing okay, on okay, those okay. sheets right, gotcha. to, to kind of test it out okay and so see. a workshop couldn't do this without the artist's you know, input there at this moment this is your art you're creating yeah. the picture on the color separation sheets okay. yeah yeah right. yeah you now with some with some designs i uh I did it all on the computer, and I planned it out, and I used transparent colors, like... Um, so then you're tracing the computer information onto those separation sheets in that case? I, um, on this one I did a, like a mock-up, ooh, come on, uh, a mock-up on the computer of the art, and used a vector drawing program so that I could scale it. Um, size was really important here, because I wanted to fit the print on A4 paper for a particular uh, exhibit that was going on, or like a uh, requirement. Yeah, it was a requirement of the exhibit, but I didn't have a big enough block to fill the whole page. And so you can see I've got a lot of white space at the bottom and large borders. So I used like an eight by ten block that I had lying around, Sheena. And I used Sheena for this, and I I drew all the all of the shapes. Um, in a vector drawing program and use transparency in that program to overlay the colors and figure out like which, like this darker green, <coughs> this mirroring is kind of hard to point, this darker green is layered on top of this lighter green and it's layered on top of this brown. I'm having a hard time pointing it. Okay, but mirror. stuff that you have yeah. um, done in a computer that Color A on top of color B has yeah. a certain result. But yeah, when but you later get on to blocks and pigments and you put color A on top of B. It's different. Yeah, so how are you? It's totally different. I've got intuition for that. I mean, I don't know really what to say besides. Um, I've been working on, I've been working with watercolors all my life. And, uh, okay, so you're trying to get close with the computer thing, but you're not yeah. trying to pretend that that's going to be the actual that's not print. That's the final. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Sorry, I hope you guys haven't missed too many uh, hairs over here. Yeah, the face should be now finished. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay, now I can uh, try to look back at the chat and see what people are saying. Dave's now an obscured artist. <laughs> That's why I had you covered up. Mm. Thank you, guys. Is the sky and water on the same block? If you're talking about the first one I showed, yeah. Yeah, and he was saying, we were expecting Dave to be done with the face when he came back. <laughs> How long have I been making prints? Um, I have a, I've been on this planet for several decades, and my mom was a, um, a professional artist, and so I was, there was a lot of art in our household. So I've been doing watercolors and drawing and, um, perspective drawing and all sorts of stuff since I was a little kid and I think I did my first lino cut project when I was eight for a Christmas card um, but I didn't start doing water-based Japanese style Japanese methods and materials mokohanka until uh, about five years ago where did you see it where did you get to know oh I've just always been admiring Japanese prints and I, I, you know, I did a bunch of relief stuff before then, but it was all like uh, opaque pigments. You couldn't get mm. that nice mm. combinations of colors. Like by overlaying transparent color, you mm. can get new mm. colors that mm. aren't any color that you printed. They're just combinations of areas that you print. Um, I ended up doing a workshop with Annie Bissett 
Oh yeah. In mm -hmm. the in summer of 2017, I guess. And I just I kept intense, at it. Intense, intense lady. Eh? Yeah. Very serious. My God. Oh my God. She's not all that serious, but. Oh, super, super respectful, interesting printmaking. Very interesting. Uh -huh. Completely. Uh, for me, prints are, are visual pleasure. For her, these are an intense way of communicating yeah. social change. You know, she wants yeah. to change the world, and she wants to do it through her prints. You know, yeah. that's very much her her meaning in her life to do those things. You know, so and she's very active politically and stuff. So it's all expressed in her work. You know. The opposite, polar opposite from from someone like me. You know. Yeah, me too. Like somebody's asking where I get my ideas for prints. Um, Sometimes, sometimes they're they're inspired and imagined, and then sometimes the ideas I get for prints come from images I've I've seen. I often I often work from photographs. Mm -hmm. I don't like reproduce photographs exactly, but I'll use photographs for shapes of things. Well, you're, you're clearly in the feel like on my side, the prints as decorative objects, prints yeah. as objects of pleasure yeah, rather are. than I don't know, communicating a message or a message well, other than that isn't this nice. I, mean, I think or they commu communicate a mood, okay. right? Yeah. But you're not an activist in, no. the, in your work here. No. No. no, not interested in that really. Mm. Like this one was um, done from a photograph. When you come from, from a, to a little Stopping point. Can we just throw this down here, just really quickly? I, mean, I may have it still. It's it's fine. It, it's you don't need to zoom out. I don't think. Leave your zoom where it is. I can't see where we're going. Oh here. yeah, you had oh, it in a good spot. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that I I was in a real place there and. Um, but this is almost abstract, so when you say it's a real place, it I really sort of doesn't matter actually because it's the mood and the abstraction of the sky versus the ground to show. I mean, yeah. What I mean is it doesn't matter that that mountain was that shape or not. So but it was that is, shape. I know what I mean, but I mean, <laughs> in a picture like this, I'm just, I'm just being uh -huh. yeah, right, it right. doesn't actually matter at this right. point because it has become pretty much almost abstract, but abstract in that we feel comfortable looking at it because we know that it's a, it, yeah. it exists, you know, okay. Yeah, this is actually the Black Rock Desert in Nevada. When I showed this to the stream, when you first put it online that day, we showed it and we were all ooing and on at it. And I was, I think you had mentioned you made it on Kitaro paper. I had said something like, no way, because Kitaro paper, you just can't get this beautiful kind of gradation and depth of color and et cetera. I forget what I was actually uh -huh. saying. Uh -huh. And you'd said, no, Kitaro paper. Yeah, it is Kitaro. Uh, but having seen these in person yesterday, Karen showed me uh -huh. her, you know three or four, five, six copies of this, and I will stand by what I said. For us, that kit out of paper is, I'm sorry, unusable, and I'm not in any way being negative to you about this because this print fits your 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 ethos and your your view. But we could not use this paper to make the kind of prints that we are trying to make here. You know, it just doesn't take pigment smoothly enough. And uh -huh. there, this particular sheet seems well. No, there is. Do I have a blob on yeah, that one too? Not, not Karen. I don't know how, how we can. I don't know how we can show this. I know. There is there are defects inside this paper. Yeah, there are yeah, clumps of, of, uh, clumps of fiber, fiber, clumps of clumps unseparated of fiber, fiber or, or improperly cooked fiber in clumps. You know. So, you know. so to me, I would just much rather see you using you know a better paper. You know, I think the results would be. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Yeah, so I still have a lot of the mm. Kitaro stuff. Um, the girls upstairs have just told me, David, please, no, 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 no more Kitaro. We've been using it for wanna testing. Print. Yes, it is, indeed. Hmm? A wanna print asks, is that the playa? So that's a... Uh, well, the location, but I'm not. Yeah. No. I mean, I wasn't right there. I was elsewhere on the Black Rock Desert. That's where the Burning Man Festival ah, happened. Ah, that place, okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prints with bugs. I'd like to do some prints with bugs. Wanna print, have you seen April Falmer's, or Valmer, I'm not sure how she pronounces it. Have you seen her work? She's another artist that um, is working with 
Japanese materials and methods. And she's got a lot of uh, art that uh, that has bugs, and she, she does mm. she does some really mm. interesting mm. things. I think we looked at one of hers on a show on Tele a while back. Remember that? And the, the, the That's moving, right. Moving the block. You know, exactly. One, exactly. One set of registration. Did that have bugs? I think it had bugs. I think so. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Lost. Zoom back in on the block. Yeah. You're we'll zoom uh, down. Okay. You need Somewhere to see enough, maybe back mm -hmm. a bit, or focus, and then you need to center, and you can focus, because it would be good to see that close if we could. Nice. Oops. Yeah, that looks great. Oh, you did? That's great. Yeah, want to print. I wanted to take a workshop with April, um, but uh, she she had a family emergency, and that's when Annie Bissett took over. Oh, how many color layers did I do? If you're asking about the cloud print um, numeral of numeral zero FF nine nine. Don't know what that is in decimal. <laughs> it's a hex value. Zero, zero. Or oh, somebody's name you're talking about. Nine, nine. Uh, somebody's handle. Oh, okay, okay. No, I thought you were talking about number of. I understand. Oh, 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 I was going to go camping this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, our concern was typhoon, right? Rain, right? rain, rain. But so we still decided to go anyway because we, we didn't know how the weather mm, is mm, going mm, to be. Mm, mm, mm. And it turned out that uh, we forgot to book uh, a car. <laughs> we didn't book a car properly. We we thought we did. A rent a car, a car, yeah, vehicle. Yeah, so, so a rent a car. This. Okay. No, we didn't book a car, so just we didn't go. We, oh. started, we went bouldering. It was so much fun. Wait, we went bouldering? Bouldering, yeah. To uh, Boulder Gym. And then I woke oh, up. Gym, up. Soka, soka, soka. Oh, you're sore so now? <laughs> in my arms, so I'll be slow today. I know it's been a very quiet weekend in the order box, so there isn't too much, you know, isn't too much for you to try and catch up on. And I ordered, I answered a few emails, the ones that I was yeah, worried about people who you, hadn't yeah. got other Thank stuff. You, you know, it's always the same thing, it was in their spam box, you know. Uh, but so I took care of a few. No, no problem, no problem. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Karen-san. See you upstairs then. Yeah, okay. nice to meet right. you. Yeah. <laughs> so it's 9 o'clock already. Okay, so okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, did you see Suki san drop in or not? I, I, I didn't notice. Okay. Right. Yeah. okay, we'll go upstairs. I may have noticed. So, um, yeah, someone was asking how many colors I, I used. That was um, seven color areas on the cloud print, and um, each one. One of them was printed only once. The two little mountain areas, those were printed twice. The sky was printed three times, <laughs> because I was trying to build up the, the uh, gradation really slowly um, so that I could make it more even, because you know the first, first print was not very even. Um, and then the cloud areas, there were like three different colors in the clouds, and each one was printed twice. Somebody's got a question. When cutting lines that are perpendicular, or at least intersecting, I've seen Dave sort of continue cutting across the intersecting line, but he does so at a shallower depth. Does the yes. cut across the lines not show up on prints because of the swelling of the wood when print printing? Exactly. I exactly. think that is a great exactly. theory. Exactly. Thank you. Yep. You, you, are, you are qualified now to be a new commenter on this channel. So. <laughs> that was uh, Jay Beazel. Jay Beazel. Hey, Fly, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be working at Moko Hong Kong, but I'm um, working on printmaking. I'm being a full-time printmaker for about three weeks. Three years ago when Karen dropped by, she stayed nearby here, and you worked on your own projects upstairs here for yeah, a cu yeah. couple of weeks, ten days, something? A couple, couple of weeks. It was like two weeks. This time, we're no longer good enough for you. She's, she's gone. <laughs> We couldn't get her a visa. I would have, I would have we done that. We couldn't get her a visa. Exactly. So, so yeah. Yeah. I 
people writing, you know, a number of people wrote to me over the past half year or so asking, you know, if you want to so, while this thing's been going on, ask me, can I sponsor them for a business visa? Mm -hmm. and there was a couple, uh, one person in particular who had been a long time supporter, long term, long friend almost, you know. He said, I've got to get over here to see my daughter, to be with my daughter. Can you get me in? And I, there's just no way. We, we ourselves are at the moment are struggling with the immigration people for visas for Chon San uh -huh. And we're getting rejected left and right and left and right. And I can't in any way take on the project of trying to sponsor somebody else for a, for a visa, especially when it was all fake data. So I, I can't do this. You know? We have a very poor record with the immigration office. We couldn't even get Cameron's visa, you know. We had to go back to the company he used to work for, the tourist company. Oh, no. And they cooperated with us, even though he had left there. They so he ought to get a visa for him. From them, because it's a travel company. They needed a businessman to come and help them with travel visa, snap, instantly go. Mm -hmm. Traditional woodblock printmaking workshop needs a businessman to help them. No. So the, the wow. Cameron's previous employer helped us out, even though he had left. John is a bit wrong about that. I, I can get by. I can communicate with people. But a Japanese ability? Japanese ability. So my crowning achievement uh, on this trip so far is I was, at, uh, I was at Terry's house where I'm staying. I'm staying in Karizawa while I'm here. Terry McKenna. Terry McKenna. Um, and uh, the, I was there at the house by myself. It was Saturday morning. Terry was off. No, it was Friday morning, I guess. Terry was not there. It's not his house. He's, he actually lives elsewhere. It's his old house that the workshop. is a, okay. yeah, yeah, it's a workshop and, and guest house for people who are doing artist residencies. And the chime rang on the doorbell. And uh, so I opened the door and it was a, a, a construction gentleman. They're demolishing a house across the street. Mm -hmm. And you managed the conversation. Yeah, yeah. He All was, right. He was, All he was, right. Uh, he was saying that, um, that they're going to be doing... Um, then she called Joel, mm -hmm. and he pointed up to some wires up mm -hmm. at the, up at the mm -hmm. you know, over the street, mm -hmm. and they're going to be disconnecting these wires. Mm -hmm. And I said, Coco de, then she got, Kiri Maska, Kiri Maska, Ie, Ie. So, 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 congratulations. Ja, ja, wakarimashita. Coco de, then she called Joel, ga okunaimasu ke do. Okay, ja, Karen, uh -huh. I had no idea you were that far along. I'm sorry, <laughs> not, not to be insulting, but I didn't know you were that far along. That's great. That's great. So you can chat upstairs then quite a bit then to these Probably, kids. Yes. Okay, let's yeah. go. Let's go. About Denshi Kojo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all I know is from three years ago when you were here and you were you were learning and studying. Mm -hmm. So have you been actually studying or taking I courses or, or what what have you been doing to learn I, Japanese? I, uh, since then, mostly I, I study on my own mm -hmm. and um, I get together with some friends once a week and. We but I like working like like Contra does, for example. Every day, work through some some material. Or yeah, like? I drill vocabulary. Okay. And okay. Um, I plan to pass the N2 this year. I'm signed up. Okay, no, I missed, I didn't realize this. I'm sorry. It always scares me the hell out of me when the doorbell rings. This guy didn't look shocked, Andy. He, he, maybe I guess he knows that. Uh, he knows the place. He yes, knows the place. Uh, you know, the, the name for on him, the mailbox. For him, coming up the door, he's probably. It's like, oh no. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so he's a lot more afraid of you than you were of him. You know. Exactly. Is this the Oshibori guy outside? I can't tell. Uh, yeah, I think so. I can't see the whole truck. Oh, oh, it is. It is the Oshibori guy. <laughs> and he says, I live near a mili military base, but for some reason they are still surprised when a foreigner opens the door. Oh, in, in Japan, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, not yeah thank you, Wanda Print. I need to really, uh, I need to get with it. My, um, I, I failed it two years ago, or three years ago. Failed? Failed the N2, the, which is the, oh, the yeah, top, yeah. the most difficult Japanese proficiency test is the N1. N2 is the next one down from there. If you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, you have to so, pass okay. N1. Uh, I think N2 is a requirement for university. Most people who live here don't know anything about it. But, um, but I failed it two years ago because of the reading part, because I'm just, I was just too slow. 
I'm still listening. Oh. We just had some uh, visitors from overseas pass by. Do they know us? Group tour. Oh, did you see the tour leader, John? Yeah, the JLPT is going to be offered in the U.S. in December, but um, if you haven't signed up yet, you may have missed the opportunity. I started with listening and talking, Tom. I, the, my, I did some Pimsleur audio lessons. Um, 13 years ago before I did my first trip to Japan but I just kept up with it after and so I soon after I started the uh, writing and reading and now I get much more but the problem back in Austin is chance to practice to show yeah pra yeah all the Japanese speaking people I know in Austin speak English much better than they speak or than I speak Japanese mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. just for ease of communication yeah, yeah, sake it's back into English all yeah, yes, that's yeah. our problem getting practice time Everybody else wants to speak English to us. Oh, only one opportunity in July each year in Sweden for the Japanese language proficiency test. Yeah, we only get one opportunity in December in the States. So next year maybe, since they're doing it this December. What, is it only like offered at one place and you have to travel there to do it? Or? It's offered at a handful of places. I have to travel to Houston to take okay. it. But uh, what, at a university somewhere? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's at Rice University. Who administers the test? The American Association of Teachers of Japanese administers, administers the test in the U.S. Only Stockholm in Sweden. Yeah, they, they have it at like 10 different places in the States. Um, and so, you know, someone from New Mexico or Oklahoma or Louisiana, they would also have to travel to Houston. That's the closest place. Stop your complaining, Fly. <laughs> Fly says, Dave has been working on that now for a long while. It's very delicate work. Very, very delicate. Ooh, I'm getting good work done this morning. What do you mean? Yeah. Too thin again? No, for this print. We need these lines to be incredibly thin. They are very thin and delicate. Six minutes to S and T. Who are you watching? So Do we have an S and T? I haven't got anything specifically prepared. That folder is still oh, at hand here. You know, yeah. sitting on August Excellent. folder. Oh, welcome, Raiders. Little House Journals is ready with the party of four. Little House Journals. Little House Journals. Yeah. Do we get to know who who they are? Or? Sounds interesting. Little House yeah. Journals. What sort of uh, what sort of stream are you guys yeah. coming from? Introduce yourselves, can yeah, you? Yeah, please let us know what your what your Little House Journals stream is about. There's 
there's been um, some opinions about what we should do in s &T. and one of them is that we should uh, continue learning from the Surdi Mono albums. I, you mean today's s &T. Yeah, yeah. Some people w said... Um, Look at your prints more, yeah. It would be fun to hear about Karen's coloring paintings, but I've already talked about that. I'm sorry. Book binding and leather work. Cool. Little House. Little House Journals does book binding and leather work. Yeah. Um, the, the streamer says, I'm just a leather worker and book binder that operates out of our little house. I see. Like the way that people use this word just in a self-deprecating manner, you know, it sounds like a really cool sounds thing sounds to like do. Sounds like a cool yeah, thing, yeah. 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 I guess we don't need a link because we can. The link is the person's name, is it? Well, that's their. The, yeah, that's so their. Their stream would be called by their username. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so people journal. can find it then. All right. Okay. Yeah. Are you asking for me to choose the prints to talk about? I have these ones if I have any more prints to show. Yeah, that's what he's asking about. So um, I'll just show one more really quick here. Well, wait till show and tell time, and then okay. you, you can do that. I mean, not often we have an actual printmaker here as a guest, so let's, <laughs> let's use the 15 minutes. You've got three prints here? You've got a I bunch of prints I, Well, I don't have that many. I have, you right. saw what I'll tell I you what, then, uh, when it's show and tell time, I'll move my block out. We'll put the prints here, I've only got, large this I've up. I've only got two more that I can uh, You do the talk and I'll, I'll, I'll move the prints around it's sitting here. I'll but we should camera. look at some of, we should look at at least one of yours well, too. It's going to go on for years. I'll be here for years. You're just here for one day. <laughs> Are you coming back like next week or something before you go back to to? Yeah. to, to yeah, I'll come back on October 8th or 9th. To do another another day. Yeah. Um, so when, I'll, when you do fly back to Texas, are you staying in Tokyo the night before? I am. Okay, but then in the morning you're heading for the airport. You're not going to be hanging out here. Well, Monday morning, two weeks from now, I'm thinking I might be back here. Back here. Okay, and I, can, I can do another. Okay. I can drive for the stream again. But will you then have a new print to show us, or in other words, a project? I hope so. But I hope or so. you could step us through. You know, you, you could bring the blocks down with you and show what you've been doing. That might make more sense. I could do that, perhaps. You know, an actual. Here's what I've been doing. Yeah, I hope that by then I'll actually have uh, another a tiny, tiny would you edition. Have a, would you have a proof print ready by then? Because that would really. That's make the it. plan. Okay, then let's make a date then. Two weeks from now, this Monday, <laughs> then you bring back. No, you bring back your set of blocks and, and proof prints. And you step us through what you did to build it. Okay. That Do makes that. sense. I mean, that really, really makes sense in terms of a practical... Yeah, and you know, what I could pr maybe even do is I could um, just do some... Just using cheap copy paper or something, I could show how the print built up. I'll try to do that as I go along. Okay, let's make a date. You're in. Cool. day if Karen is coming back to pinch oops huh? size some paper <laughs> that's happy what time are you going back up there tonight or just simply you're going any anything late is okay oh back to Kalisawa yeah um I have a train in the morning but I'm but Again, I'm, I'm thinking about changing one more it. night. You mean? Yeah. Ah, so the exhibition today, perhaps staying one more night in in that Jokan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then let's talk to Ayama-san today then about the possibility of the sizing thing or grabbing some paper and sizing it, and then you tell me the schedule. Plan for that okay, next so, week. So, so. Yeah. Or, or whatever, or, 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 or today, or anything. It's up to you. That's exciting. Let's see. As, as I showed you last night, there is a bit of a surplus of paper here right now. 
we're not ready to announce that we're going to sell you on a paper, but there's a bunch over here right now. Trying to follow the conversation here. Do I have access to my website to post updates? Yeah, I'm sort of of two minds about that. I don't want people to track my whereabouts while I'm traveling, but, um, so. Well, you mean they know your house is empty or something? Well, the house happen? is not empty. The house is not empty. I, I have nope. a friend staying there, mm -hmm. and the air conditioner's out, so mm -hmm. that's one lovely thing I just found out about this morning. No, but I mean, you're worried about, you said, tracking where you are and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I just, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't like trackers. Oh, I need to get the buzzer. Oh, it's 15, is it? Yeah, it's okay, actually 16 now. Okay. At least let me finish this cut. See, so you see how easy it is when you're yeah, here. Yeah, I know. Yep, yep, it's yep, pretty yep. easy to let the, the minutes yep, yep, slip yep. by. John, I did, but um, I never turned on location services for that app. I've admitted it, and now they're going to track me down. What says, find my phone it. or something? Uh, well, he's asking about the, the My SOS app. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah let me go. This, this, this. Well, no, it's good. If I rush it, I don't know what's going to happen. So like, <laughs> I know what's going to happen. No, can I move this? The mic is going to move. Okay. So are we okay? Oh. Is the mic still okay? The mic has moved. Is testing, mic testing, okay? testing. I'm a little hotter. Second. I'm hotter than you, so let Whatever. me... Try to maybe read you. Whatever. That's Am the I actual video feed you're playing with here. So I know. Be careful. I know. Okay. So far, no video outage. Just... Are we good? Are we good? Testing one, two, three. Am I good to go? Our or levels are equal. Yeah. But I cannot see the screen, so I have no idea where I'm, where I'm working with here. We were up to... We were up to the, the, the monkey sloth. Uh, this was, again, yeah, quick 30 second recap. Monkey sloth panda. The prints we've been looking at this week in the show and tell are from Surimono, Surimono albums, the set of prints that I made from 1999 to 2004. Oh. Whatever, we'll, we'll just, we'll, let, me, let me get to the print itself and then we'll, uh, then we'll worry about the camera settings. Just one sec. Set of 10 prints each year for five years. The idea being that I was going to practice and train on specific technical things to do with each print. Customers didn't know what was coming up. They subscribed to the album and were either delighted or shocked or disappointed in some measure. We've looked at the first eight prints in that one, and this is now we're up to the eighth print. So there's two more left in the first album. Okay, so let's so can I turn the laptop now? You still need to see the screen? What? Okay, I can see enough now that I can see where we are zoomed into, right? That's all I need. Okay. But what I can't tell, because of, of my eyes, is I can't tell if it's focused or not. So it looks pretty good to me. I can't tell. And what we have here is a, a reproduction of a Hokusai Surimono. I had said when I proposed these Surimono albums that it wasn't going to be all based on famous people's stuff. I was going to dig around and find non-famous people. But I ended up putting two Hokusai prints in the first album. <laughs> and it's from a rare Hokusai Surimono. Maybe they're like, there's only one copy f left in the world somewhere around the place. You know? And the copy I reproduced was really, really, really beaten up. It was smudged. It was torn. There was a piece of paper missing. And one area of this print I had to recreate with my own drawing because oh. it was gone. So if you looked over this thing in tiny detail, which area is original Hokusai and which area is Dave's drawing, can you tell? Well, we'll oh, put you out of I'm, your. I'm curious now. I'll put you out of your misery right now and say it wasn't the face. It wasn't the face because these really do look like Hokusai faces. Yeah. Actually, they look like Sori faces. When Hokusai made this Surimono, the, this Surimono image, he wasn't yet Hokusai. He was using the name Sori. People have some guesses. Green jacket? Is it the boat with the water? It's 
the hand. This is completely, mm. or, I can't say it's original, I and mean, it looks really, really silly. You see the long, stupid fingers, the long stuff? I mean, it looks like an awful hand. But those of you who have been looks following this like her index finger is amputated. <laughs> Whatever, it's not even clear which is her finger. This is her right hand to show. So that's uh -huh. actually sort of like her small finger. But uh, what I did uh, was, I didn't just do this from scratch and, and draw a normal modern hand. I went back to Hoxai's other work. And in fact, this is a print from a series and there were lots of hands. So I simply took a hand from one of the other images and basically copied it because, I mean, on the face of it, oh my God, this is not realistic. It's awful. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah. But actually, it makes complete sense in the genre and in the mood. What was I trying to do with this one? Of course, explore delicate hair carving, delicate face, the delicacy of the print. And what I was really trying to do was figure out how to print super delicate colors, have them all match, and have a quiet, pleasant mm -hmm. mood. So are the colors um, pretty much taken from the... From yes the and no. Design? The original was faded beyond belief. Mm -hmm. So there's no real, you know, I knew there was some kind of vermilion here, there was some kind of green, and probably the one I looked at, the problem when you see a faded print is some colors fade much more than others. They yeah. fade much more. When you look at the print, and of course the paper itself has become toned, so there's a brownness behind all the colors. So it's anybody's guess, anybody's guess as to what, uh, what it could be. You know? So I tried to just make a print that I thought reflected something like what the original would have been. Was this made in the Edo area, era? The original would have been about 1830. Give me a 20, it could have been somewhere from 1820 to 1840, the original. I said it was Soli, so that means it would have been 1820 to 1830, the original. I don't own that. I saw a copy in a book, and I made this by carving and printing this piece of paper in 1999. So the print you're looking at here is, you know, 20, uh, 20 odd years old, mm -hmm. but the design goes back 200 years. There's also something else, I, I, I can talk about this now because it's enough time has gone past. When I was making these reproductions, there was the fear at some point, I felt I'm going to be getting quite good at this. So if I make this really, really well, I am making forgeries in a sense. I'm putting prints out into the market that could perhaps somebody could be looked on as forgeries. Mm -hmm. So I knew that my print being brand new paper and, and new carving and David wasn't as good as the old carver, so I knew that wasn't a problem. But what I started to do was, as a policy, I would change something in the original so that if ever it came that there was a question of is this a forgery or is this an original, oh, I have so records small. here that I changed, and Adachi does this also for two reasons. They specifically and on purpose change something in every one of their reproductions. Mm -hmm. They want to track that it's theirs. They and want so to track it's theirs. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, 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 exactly. Uh -huh. And Adachi, Adachi has done this all the way from the beginning. Whether they're still doing it or not, I don't know. So Dave started to do the same thing. Even though he was trying to make a perfect, absolute reproduction, he made sure that there was something in there that he changed differently so that if, you know, either if somebody ripped mine off and photocopied it or, or whatever, I would be uh -huh, able to uh -huh. tell what it is. Now, I don't care who steals my right. images from the net. I don't care. But there is here, there is these oh, two, tiny... Oh, two extra twigs. Don't, there were twigs there, but these twigs have been shaped into a rough approximation of a D and a B. I oh, was, my <laughs> goodness. You were so right. So D, B <laughs> is in there. And I don't remember now because it's so many years since I've done this, but... There would have been oh. one twig or three twigs or something different. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I made it into two twigs and said DB. And I'm not going to tell this story for all of the prints, but the first album, the first Solimono album, these 10 prints, all. They do that. They all have something that I have changed oh, that's pretty from cool. the original. <laughs> Over and above the hacking that I tried to do to copy, but wasn't even close enough. You know, so. It was successful. It's really, I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're going to show. The, the delicate printing ends up having an embossing to it. Yeah, you can see that in the water. Can, is it visible on this light? Yeah, it in, is. In her kimono patterns, it's also, I can feel it bump, bump, bump yeah. as I run across yeah, from my finger. Yeah, you can see it. And I was very happy with this. You know, there's gradations here, but they are so delicate, it's like there's almost nothing there. Mm -hmm. And this was new for me, you know, this was new. And I was very, very, very pleased. 
this print is actually now in the Mokankan catalog because the blocks have been, with our printers here at Mokankan have been using these blocks to make more editions mm -hmm. and it's in the Mokankan catalog. I forget what number it is. It's uh, 0026 or 0027, something like that. 0028. Very happy. And also, too, I was quite pleased. I actually the faces. Got, I got the lips open. I mean, this was a big deal for me back then, you know. I was able to carve and still get the eyes open and get the lips open. This was a big deal. I still didn't have the microscope. The scope came along when I was making the Beauty of Four Seasons project in 2005 or 2006. So uh -huh. all the prints we see in these Surimono albums were not made with this scope. But you they had were, a little magnifier. I, I had, had. I used this. I used the, this, you know, this, uh, yeah, this uh, the, whatever it is. Well, magnifier and stand. And I also very much used ah, I don't a loop. Know what it's a. It's a loop. You know the thing you, pop, you think you you pop in your eye. Yeah, and, it's uh, a jeweler's and loop. And the scope was in the future. I still wouldn't. I, I didn't even have the idea of using a scope. I would have thought it's not possible because you can't put your hands in there. You know? This is so dusty now. You can't. I don't. It's just, it's <laughs> I can't see through it. And the microscope, it, it, the idea came to me from a Ukrainian friend, Slav Vyacheslav Varkilov. He was a jeweler working here in Tokyo for Van Cleef and Arpels. And he had come, he had been trying to make copper engravings. He'd come to visit me and he said, why don't you get a microscope? Huh? And I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. You can't use a microscope because I've got to put my hand in there and carve, you know, because I'd been thinking like microscopes looking for bu bugs, you know, where the, the scope yeah. was right down to the Bacteria. glass. Yeah. And he says, you're the one that doesn't know what you're talking about. He uses them in his own job for making jewelry. Cody so is asking if there were two key, key blocks on that last print? No, what we've got, I just, I brought out, this is just printed from the key block. I brought out a key block plus the full color version. The reason I did that is because the original that I copied here was just black and white. There's one print extant in the v &A in London, and they had a book published with this image. And I was originally going to just do it as a reproduction of the original one. And then I thought, wait a minute, Dave, people are waiting for nice, interesting, beautiful prints. Let's do this. So I turned it into, I took the original black and white print, carved the key block, and then went ahead and made a full set of color blocks for it. And this one, I wasn't trying to stick to the original era. It's a code use I print. And this is maybe 1710, 1720, somewhere around there. And this was the era before full color printing had been invented. Would there they have been? Would they have used at least used vermilion back they then? I, I, I can't tell exactly. This is the era when it was changing very quickly. Okay. They first uh -huh. had the Benny Zudier, where there was Benny. One color was printed on the prints, mm -hmm. and we have a bunch of Corduroy prints printed like that. So yeah. when he was alive, this was the era when those things were just being discovered and brought into use. So when this print was first designed, it's possible that they may have known how to do this, but I didn't uh, didn't know this would have. But what I did do, I went ahead and used techniques that were absolutely not in use during his lifetime. The gradation technique didn't come in until the 1780s and 1790s. He was long dead by then. So I tried to take a little bit of a, a Shin Hanga approach to this. I colored it. There's gradations on their wings, gradations on the breast, gradation in the sky, gradation in the water. So I took it out of time and place. And I am really, really, really happy with this. I was so proud with my ability to, to take a black and white print and, and, you know, that's all I had. Yeah. And I, what's the word, colorized it. <laughs> it looks great. And I thought I was I really, really, really happy with this. It might be a bit dorky, I don't know. Of course no, I did some research, not. you know, I looked yeah. around at other woodblock prints of mandarin ducks and things uh -huh. like this. Too. The poem, I can't remember the exact uh, characters of the poem, but I remember the English transliteration of it. And, in the Orient, both in China and in Japan, maybe even wider, Mandarin ducks are a symbol of uh, um, fidelity of a couple because they were because they stay together in pairs. Yeah. Modern research shows that it's not actually yeah. like that. When they look <laughs> at the DNA of the little ducklings, and uh -huh. Daddy is not there, <laughs> so yeah. they were mm. so mm. let's not go. Pauline there. is asking, would you color it the same way today? Would you do I, colors differently? Impossible today? to answer that because that's so much burned into my brain. You oh, know. you can't see it any other way. Of course, because <laughs> we were talking about you know twenty five years ago. I did this. What about the plants? Would you have these well, days? Well, it's bamboo. Would you what about what, 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 what do you have? It's just it's snow on top of bamboo oh, leaves. Okay. So I do not have a whole lot of options here. When you think about this, snow on the bamboo leaves, you're cooked. The water, you're cooked. 
uh, it's a gray snowy day, the sky is gray if you're going to do the, the ukiyo-e gradation on the yeah. top. A lot of this yeah. is not, there's not a lot of free choice going into this. Yeah. And actually that's an interesting point because I've talked about this many, many, many times, that interview with the Great Wave that I did for that big company the other day. They talked about this. Hokusai designed this all by himself, right? And I'm no, Hokusai didn't touch this. He sketched it, drew it. Once the thing's ready, the team was perfectly capable of doing the color separations. They didn't need the artist to do this. They Tom, Tom's asking, um, how did you design the wavy water line at the top? Because that's not in the black and white. The way the, the, way the water ends, the top I of the water? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't think I would have been capable of coming up with that by myself. Maybe I'm going to have to simply to say, I don't remember, I'm sorry, I'm going to take the fifth here. What did I do? Inspired by a different print? Was there a gray block there? I don't remember. Maybe Google will tell us if somebody can, if you go to ukiwe.org, well, they let them do it, that's their job. Okay. They go to okay. ukiwe.org, and if you type in koryusai, and then ducks. Is it K-O-R-Y-U-S-A-I. K-O-R-Y-U-S-A-I, Koryusai. That's your artist, and at ukiwe.org, if you searched using the keywords, Koryusai and Duck, and you're going to find somewhere the original of this. Not yet. Somebody's got a link? No, there it is. Ducks. Should I click on this? It'll take us to a jump out to a browser. Let's have a look, just so yeah, we can see what they're talking about. Oh, there, yeah, there it is. So there's Look at this. It's, on there. it's so it was an early multicolored print, not full colored. So I've got the story a bit twisted. There were colors, but what I did was I modernized the colors. I get it now. How do I get back to the? Uh, I'll click the link at the bottom. That's that's our. That thing. Yep, yep. Click okay. that. Okay, so okay. I see. So I'm misremembering this story. I'm getting more and more unreliable <laughs> as we go forward. Look at that. I remember having just the key line. How many colors are there on there? Yeah, one, two, three, or something. It's just like click, three. click back. Whatever. What was that? Safari? Was it, was it Safari? I don't know which one it was. Crown? It's good. It's probably Safari. No. Nope. It's probably Safari. Safari. Ready, 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 ready. So they were. So they were. What is it? Three. There's a, there's a sky. There's a gray and, and an orange, which makes no sense, but except for a duck, and then the bamboo wow. is orange. So so they've done just like one, two, three, just to put something into it. Bamboo is orange. The ducks orange. The the mountains are orange. This so looks like a different color. The water. Looks like a different. Like dirty gray, yeah. okay. Like so Dave, brown. okay, okay, I get what's happening. Dave said, I'm not going to make a reproduction like that with orange bamboo and orange guy, so let's do the thing. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who is that? Do we, do we need some eggs? Oh, we uh, owe some eggs. According. Okay, do we owe some eggs? Yeah, I think, I think you, you're, you're the egg according gets today, at least so. one egg, maybe two, <laughs> for the second link. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm becoming more and more unreliable. Absolutely. Well, this is life. This is life. Interesting. Well, memory is a reconstructed yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. There's also, I had to fix the block. When I did my first test printing, I do remember this. There was a big hole. One of the blue areas somewhere up here, one of the blue areas was missing. It was white. I had carved it out by mistake Oops. when I did the color blocks. So this was one of my earliest, earliest, uh, not experiments, earliest forced learn how to do repairs. Yeah. Because I had postponed practicing it, but I had no choice. One of these triangles, this one or something, I can't remember, turned out to be completely white. I don't have the block with me today, but... Uh. And this one also, it's now being reprinted by our Mokohankan staff and is in our catalog. And it's 0029, I think, is the final number. So there we have it. There we have it, there we have it. We must be pretty much out of time, I think, right? Yeah, we right. are. We're three minutes okay. over. Okay, okay, okay. So, thanks for watching the stream, no, guys. Karen, thanks very much for sitting in. Oh, She's, it's fun. Uh, yeah. Fun, fun. She should be up there working, making prints, and to come in and do this. I know. Mm -hmm. I need to get back to my knife. Okay, so you think we're going to see you again in two weeks? Yeah. Is that the plan? I think okay. so. Okay, it's Monday morning here in Tokyo. I'll be back here myself on Thursday morning, and I'll be carving either the block you saw me doing today, or the, one of the color blocks. We may have moved on to color blocks by then. If All right, I'm going to make the you know, outside. You'll have to select it first. Oh. Yep, and away camera, you go. Grow the outside camera. See you later, guys. Thank you very much. All right, anything All happening? Right. I can't quite see. Yeah. We don't have much of a uh, rocket today because of the sunshine. Yeah, it's pretty pretty chill today. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
But it's going to be busy. That's Aoyama-san. Oh, awesome. So we have to talk to him about some... Some sizing. So He's just going to come to me. He's embarrassed. He won't come in here to talk to us. So. All right. Bye, everybody. Yep. Thanks very much. See you in a few more days. And see you again, Karen. A couple of weeks from now. Thank yeah. you for coming in. Bye-bye.